Today marks the last scheduled argument day before Justice Faustino Fernandez Vina reaches the mandatory age of retirement and steps down from the bench. So it's worth pausing before oral argument this morning to acknowledge our colleague, our friend, even though we know that he would prefer we not do so. Everyone has their own fuzzy story, whether you've known him for a decade or 10 minutes because of the kind of person that he is. Down to earth, outgoing, warm, gruff on the outside to be sure, but a big heart underneath that he would not admit to, funny, with a sense of humor that is both disarming and most often directed against himself, and incredibly generous with offers of advice or help or motivational war stories or literally the shirt off his back if he thought that that would be of any help. Along with those and other qualities, though a fierce sense of determination, a competitive streak, an intense work ethic, an ability to read people, to read between the lines, and a penetratingly smart mind. Thank you, Justice Fernandez Vina, for all that you've done in service of the cause of justice in our state. We wish you only the best as you move on to your next chapter in a story of accomplishment that has few parallels. Congratulations, Fuzzy. Now, before we let you actually speak, we're going to turn to uh, our colleagues on the bench to offer just a few words, and then the last word is yours. Justice Alvin. Thank you. Uh, Justice Fernandez Vina's story is the quintessential story about the promise of America. As the chief noted, his family sought refuge in this country and this state, fleeing a brutal dictatorship. And after losing everything of material consequence, his family brought here those inestimable values that inhere in the individual, values that cannot be extinguished by even the most ruthless regime. In this country, every person may not begin at the same starting line, but every person has the opportunity to compete in the race and even to overtake others seemingly more privileged. Here, everyone may rise to their full potential. So Justice Fernandez Vina's life is an expression of the saying, only in America. I knew then assignment judge Faustino Fernandez Vina only by reputation when he joined the court in 2013. He was recognized statewide as an outstanding trial lawyer and a smart, pragmatic, and equitable judge. Many people have experienced the challenge of caring for aging parents, but this guy set the gold standard in that regard. After his family arrived here, he learned English more quickly than his parents did. He was their guide, he was their translator, and later he was their, their loving caretaker through their, their senior years, often to the exclusion of a social life outside of his home. I don't think many people who attended Just, Justice Fernandez Vina's swearing-in will ever forget when he told his father in Spanish how much he loved him. He was a pro. He, nothing was personal unless you said the wrong thing at the wrong time, but I never did that. I was cautious, I was careful with him, I knew his reputation. And he was a friend. He was somebody that when I had a matter with him, I could talk to and resolve whatever that matter was. I'm happy that I had the opportunity to be on the court with you for the past year and a half because I've, I've certainly learned a lot. Um, I hope you take the opportunity with your new found free time to go out and enjoy the many, many great restaurants that you're always talking about and have many wonderful meals with your friends. Um, I, I, I really wish you all the best of luck in your next chapter. I have only been on the court for a few weeks since the chief assigned me, but in that brief period of time, we have had an exchange of ideas and we've always been respectful. And I think this court will be very different without him as well. First of all, Chief, thank you for your guidance and your friendship. Uh, you made a probably the toughest job I've ever heard. And that includes working as a bouncer at numerous bars and much easier. And just you're a pleasure to work with and you're a true friend. Barry, Ann, Lee, Fabiana, and Jose. 
thank you for your kind words. Uh, we don't always agree on things, but I can tell you that when I got nominated, the first thing I got was phone calls from every justice with their home phone number, their cell phone number, and their chamber's number in case I had any questions. If I had known then how tough this job was, my question would have been, how do I get out of here? <laughs> but uh, with their help, their experience, because it, it's really daunting, this job. I, the, the decisions we make, as you know, affect people for uh, perhaps forever. Uh, so uh, it, it's just very difficult. Uh, when you're a trial judge, it's a very difficult job. You're affecting that case, that family, those people. But here we affect the whole state. It, it's just sometimes can be daunting at night. It's been a privilege not only to serve the citizens of the state of New Jersey in this capacity, but also to sit with these incredibly intelligent, incredibly hard work and uh, just good people. The state is in, it couldn't be in better hands no matter what you read, what you see, or in the opinions. Everyone up here cares about what we do, cares about the state, and they're just not only good friends and wonderful people, they are fantastic human beings, and I thank all of you for the privilege of allowing me to sit with you for uh, the last eight years and two months, three months, whatever it's been. So thank you all very much. Thank you for your friendships. Thank you for your guidance, and thank you for being on this court because the state of New Jersey needs, needs you.